Coming up, the family of a woman murdered six months ago in the Big Sandy describes their first holiday season without Amber Spradlin. And police at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, released some body cam video of their response to an active shooter scene earlier this month. Plus, we could see some 60s by this weekend. Those details coming up as Mountain News First at Four continues. Mountain News First at Four continues. The family of one Eastern Kentucky woman killed earlier this year says they are going through the motions this holiday season. The family of Amber Spradlin says they are unable to truly celebrate Christmas with one, without one of their brightest lights. Spradlin was murdered in June and no arrests have been made. Her loved ones are mourning with no answers. Her aunt Melissa Salmon says the spirit of the season this year seems to have died with Amber. Well, this has been really hard. I didn't put a tree up this year. And I, I have all of our special ornaments, you know, from that had passed to Amber from my parents. And, uh, but I didn't, I haven't, I just didn't have the heart to get them out. Salmon says she hopes this will be the last season spent searching for answers. Hear more about how the family is coping this Christmas coming up at 6. The national plan to end Parkinson's Act has passed in the U.S. House of Representatives with Kentucky Congressman Hal Rogers voting in favor. If it is passed by the Senate and signed by the president, the bill will help increase funding for curing the disease. Parkinson's In Motion is an organization based in London serving Eastern Kentucky. Executive Director Jane Rice Williams says the passing of the act can help more people. If you have more effort and more money going into research and, and funding, then um, there will not only be ways to treat people with Parkinson's that we don't have at this point. Williams adds that the bill will help increase resources for those living with Parkinson's disease. At six, we will have more on how this can impact the lives of more than 500,000 people living with Parkinson's. The Rousseau Volunteer Fire Department in Breathitt County has been an important piece in flood recovery, and they are finding ways to make Christmas dreams come true as well. The fire department hosted their second toy giveaway, the first one amounting to 250 kids with hundreds of presents. Fire Chief Greg Wilson says they have partnered with an out-of-state church and nearby group to help spread Christmas cheer. Flint Hill Baptist Church is from out of North Carolina. They came in and actually the Sayersville Indian community came in last Saturday and we all three had partnered together, or I'm sorry, not last Saturday, but the ninth. And uh, so we all pitched in and that's how we was able to do this. Wilson says the church wrapped a lot of gifts before they arrived. Each kid received two or three presents as well as clothing. We will have more on how the fire department is helping community members this Christmas season at six. We are tracking some more above average weather on this Thursday afternoon, also tracking an increase in those clouds. As we go into this evening, here's a live look across the mountains from the London Corbin Airport to Buffalo Mountain, also over to I-64 in Rowan County. And you can see we are dry, but those clouds continue to increase as we go into this evening. Those temperatures in the middle to lower 50s, up to 52 for Jackson, also Prestonsburg, 51 for Pikeville, also London, and 56 over in Harlan. So we are well above average on this Thursday up on first alert pinpoint Doppler trying to indicate maybe a few sprinkles in the Cumberland Valley, but the air is very dry on this Thursday. So I do think that moisture is evaporating before it hits the ground and more dry weather on the way as we go into tonight. Also on Friday as high pressure is once again the big story to close out the work week, but some changes are looming by Saturday. Also on Christmas Eve, a few showers cannot be ruled out, but higher rain chances on the way by Christmas Day. Also for Tuesday of next week, those temperatures also stay well above average. Some 60s on Christmas Eve, some upper 50s and lower 60s by early next week. Your full forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Olivia. Cameron, thank you. 
Authorities released chilling police body cam footage from the mass shooting at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas earlier this month that cost three college professors their lives. A warning, the sounds and images may be disturbing. Elise Preston reports. Active shooter teams make our way to the suspect and take him out. Multiple body cameras from police officers show them racing to the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go with him. They run into a campus building following reports of an active shooter. Who is that? Inside, blaring alarms make it difficult for officers to hear each other as they search for the shooter in the halls. Where? Where? Reports of the shooter, Anthony Polito, being fatally shot by fellow officers come in over their radios. We don't know if there's a second shooter or not. Uncertain if there were additional shooters, officers frantically continued searching for more than 40 minutes. Including classrooms where they helped usher out huddled students. Among them, this woman in a wheelchair. Yes, sir. No, every room we busted open. So one victim on four. Yes. Three university professors inside the building were killed. Another was critically injured. And while police have not disclosed a motive, Polito had applied to work at UNLV but was turned down. Elise Preston, CBS News. Coming up as First at Four continues, some new unemployment numbers show how many people across the United States are applying for first-time benefits. Plus, the forecast turns more soggy by Christmas Day. Those details coming up after this break.